everybody, Steve here at the Chicago Recording Studio. Hey, we had a lot of fun at the Chicago Drum Show this past weekend. Had a lot of fun things going on. I got this beautiful kit at uh, the show. And there's another one stacked up beside it here. I'll talk about these a little bit. This is Rogers. And in 1967, they did a color called Pink Strata. And they had a couple of different strata finishes. They had blue and they had black. But they also had pink. Pink was only in the color line for one year. And so they're very, very rare. Hard to come by them. Usually when you do find one, as rare as they are, they're quite faded uh, because that's just the way it was. The sunlight hit them and it faded them quite, quite significantly. Uh, I've got two kits set up here. This one's already up on our Reverb store and uh, uh, Noah did a sound file with this one. It's a 12, 13, 16 with a 20. And it's a beautiful kit. Uh, what you'll notice when we'll get a little close-up shots here is this finish is much more faded and is much more typical of the pink strata that you find, and sometimes it's significantly more faded than that. Uh, now, the kit I bought at the show is a really nice example. It's a 13, 16, 22, 9 by 13, 16, 16, 14, 22. Uh, the pink strata finish is in amazingly good condition and really, really bright. There's a little bit of fading on the uh, rack tom near the, uh, the player, near, near me over here, just a little bit. A couple of few very slight surface splits in the wrap. These uh, strata wraps and onyx wraps were fairly thick and they had a tendency sometimes to develop little surface splits just in the wrap. This set's in beautiful shape. The chrome is incredible. The color is very strong. My favorite sizes for this 9 by 13, 16, 16, 14 by 22. Uh, as you can see it's very vibrant and very full color wise. Uh, I've got a beautiful 22 inch Istanbul jazz ride here and a beautiful set of 14 inch uh, hats, 30th anniversary hats, are they 14s or 13s? They're 14s, okay. All right, and then I've got a uh, chrome over brass Dynasonic, uh, which we also have up for sale, and this great drum. It's a four digit serial number, 5219. Uh, beaver tail lugs, tall, uh, tall rims here, so uh, clock face strainer. So it's one of those drums made right around that transition. Actually, it's not tall rims, but uh, right around that transition in 64. Great drum. These sound terrific, so you'll see that available as well. And I'm going to give you a little sample of these. Now, uh, for the toms and the bass drum, I didn't change anything on them. They came in with Evans heads on them, just like you see right here. And the bass drum has an Evans EQ, uh, clear EQ head on it. The toms have Evans 360 uh, G2s on here. I do not play with this type of head. I play with plain old simple coated ambassadors on, on everything, on the top on the bass drum and it called clears on the bottom. That's what I use. So these are a little different. Uh, the drums are tuned a little lower. This is the way they came in. They didn't change any heads or anything, just tweaked them up a little bit. So we'll give you a little sample and you can see this rare kit up on our reverb store. So, all right, enough out of me.